about the double taxation avoidance agreement that is DTAA but I know most of you get confused at the time of application of DTAA rules. Hello and welcome. I'm Maharishi from Clear. We have assisted more than 80,000 tax experts and 6 million tax filers. Do subscribe to support us and get a clear explanation of finance concepts. Stay tuned till the end of the video to learn all about the double taxation avoidance agreement and its application. The double taxation avoidance agreement that is DTAA is a treaty signed by two countries. The agreement is signed to make a country an attractive destination and enable NRIs to get relief from having to pay taxes multiple times. Usually non-resident Indians that is NRIs live abroad but earn income in India. In such cases, it is possible that the income earned in India would attract tax in India and the country of the NRIs residents. This means that they would have to pay tax twice on the same income as per the law of the respective countries. There was a need for agreement between the countries to avoid this kind of double taxation. Did the explanation make sense so far? If it did, write clear in the comments below. Under the double taxation avoidance agreement, NRIs don't have to pay tax twice on the following incomes earned from services provided in India, salary received in India, house property located in India, capital gains on transfer of assets in India, fixed deposits in India, and savings bank account in India. If the income from these sources is taxable in the NRI's country of residence, they can avoid paying taxes on it in India by availing the benefits of DTAA. Double taxation avoidance agreement applies when the countries tax your global source of income and if you are a resident in one or both the DTAA contracting countries. India has signed a double taxation avoidance agreement with most major nations where Indians reside, such as USA, UK, Canada, Australia, Germany, UAE, South Africa, New Zealand, Singapore, Mauritius, Russia and many others. Various relief mechanisms can eliminate double taxation in such cases. These are deduction or credit method and exemption method. Under the credit method, the country where you are a resident gives either full or partial credit for taxes paid in the foreign country. This means you will be taxed on the same income source and tax is to be determined accordingly but you can take relief for the amount of the tax already paid. Tax relief under this method can be claimed in the country of residence. For example, you have received a salary from a UK based company by doing a job in the UK. Since you are a resident, your global income will be taxable in India. In this case, the income source country is the UK and the resident country is India. So at the time of computation of your tax liability in India, the tax paid in the UK will be allowed as set off against your total income tax liability. Still, the credit will be limited to the tax payable on such foreign income at Indian tax rates. In the exemption method, any of the two countries may provide you with an exemption from paying tax on foreign source income. For example, India has signed a treaty with country A to tax income from dividends, interest or royalty only in the source country. So if you are a resident of country A and income from dividend, interest or royalty arises in India, then such income will be solely taxable in India. Similarly, if you are a resident in India and such income arises in country A, it will solely be taxed in country A and will not be taxable in India. Non-resident Indians residing in any of the DTAA countries can avail tax benefits provided under DTAA by timely submission of the documents every financial year within the due dates. You need to submit a tax residency certificate that is TRC to claim benefits under DTAA. To obtain a TRC, you can approach your current resident country's tax or government authorities where you would get TRC certified. Secondly, you must submit Form 10-F by downloading it from the Income Tax e-filing website. You also need to submit a self-declaration mentioning your PAN and the above documents to get tax benefits. If there is DTAA with a country, then tax relief can be claimed under Section 90. Steps to compute double taxation relief are First, calculate global income that is add Indian income and foreign income. Next, compute tax on such global income as per the slab rates applicable in the Indian Income Tax Act. Now calculate the average tax rate 
that is global income divided by the amount of tax next compute an amount by multiplying foreign income with such average rate of tax that is foreign income into average rate of tax now compute the tax paid in the foreign country the amount of relief shall be lower than step 4 and step 5 if there is no dtaa tax relief can be claimed under section 91 of the income tax act compute tax payable in india as per the it act then compute the indian tax rates compare them with the average tax rate in foreign countries and check which rate is lower multiply the rate obtained in step 2 by the doubly tax income from the tax liability computed in step 1, reduce the amount of relief calculated in step 2. I hope you can now easily apply the DTAA rules for your global income if any. For queries related to business or finance, you can contact our experts by clicking on the chat link provided in the description box below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos and stay tuned for more updates. Thank you.